Hey, what's going on everybody? Jake the Happy Snake here, and welcome to part 28 of Pokemon Emerald. Last time, we plowed through Route 119, and we made it here right in front of the Weather Institute. And in this video, we're going to be checking out the Weather Institute and see what's going on inside there. And also, guys, we're going to be battling, in my opinion, one of the hottest female trainers in the game. So I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, but yeah, you can't go this way because there's two Team Aqua members blocking the path, so uh, they won't leave until you do everything inside the Weather Institute, which is why we have to do that first. So let's get go ahead and go inside, and there's actually a healing bed up here, uh, so we can heal up our Pokemon, uh, because they're still damaged from the last video. And uh, there's also a PC here if you need to, need to go if you need to go on the PC for, for, for whatever reason, and I can't speak today, I'm sorry. Um... Alright, uh, anyways, yeah, so more than likely, Emily is going to be evolving in this video because Swablu evolves to level 35, and I'm not sure how close she is. Oh, she's not close at all, okay. Um, but yeah, so hopefully that'll be happening in this video. Uh, that would be awesome. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch of Team Aqua members to battle, so let's go ahead and get started with this one. What's a kid doing here? Uh, beating all of you, that's what, yeah. Alright. So, let's see. She has a Carvana. Wow, big surprise, Carvana. Uh, yes, we're probably also going to be getting to um, Fortree City in this video as well. Because the Weather Institute probably isn't going to be quite enough for a full video. And we got a critical hit there, so that's cool. And Metal Face is going to get to level 35. That's awesome. Bam. And now we can go to Emily. Yes, you lost. Do you know who you're battling against right now? Like, of course you lost. Alright, um... Alright. Ow, my jaw. <laughs> I've been having random jaw pain. And like, the, like, the left side of my... The left side of my jaw has been getting random pain. And I just moved it slightly and it like got, I got like a bunch of pain. I don't know why. But uh, anyways... <clears throat> Sorry, that was a really random, random thing to say in the middle of a video. Uh, this guy's got two Pokemon, hmm. And luckily, uh, Emily has Ice Beam, so that's nice. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting, getting an Altaria. It's gonna be awesome having a Dragon-type. Uh, I was actually thinking of getting a Salamence, but then I realized that I, I that Shulgun, my Shulgun probably wouldn't evolve into Salamence until after we beat the game, because it doesn't evolve to level 50. And I'm not sure if I'll have level 50s uh, at the Elite Four or anything, so yeah. So that's my uh, that's my reasoning on that. Poochie and it goes down. Blasted by a kid. Yeah, that's right, man. Blasted by a kid. All right, let's get out of here. And oh, we got double battles, so we'll move Mudstorm to the front, not to the front, but to the second slot. Um. Yeah, you can battle these guys singly if you want to. I can just talk to this guy right here. But I'll do the double battle just, you know, for the heck of it. I've missed a lot of opportunities for double battles in this playthrough, so... Yeah. Don't tell me you're here looking for that weather Pokemon, too. Actually, I don't really give a crap about that weather Pokemon, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, yeah, you actually get a Pokemon in here. Um, but I won't say too much more about that until we actually get it. Uh, okay, so... Poochyana and a Zubat. I'm not concerned at all. Uh, we'll go with Ice Beam on Zubat, and we will go with Buzz Shot on Poochyana. Yeah, ever since Mudstorm became a Swampert, it's just been dominating everything. I I love having Swampert. It's such an awesome Pokemon. But if I ever and if I ever do Sapphire, I might not pick Mudkip just because uh, I picked Mudkip in Ruby and Emerald. So yeah. At some point, I would like to do Sapphire, but I'm not sure when that will be. Um, and yes, I know I do have Rickanes, and I could uh, evolve Emily right now if I want to. Like, well, not right now, but like after this battle, I could do that. But I don't. I kind of want to. Uh, I really want to save those because uh, once I get all of them, once I can get all of them in the game, I'm gonna use them on like one Pokemon and then have like a level 75, whatever the Pokemon's gonna be, probably Swampert. So yeah. But that, that won't be, that won't be, actually, I'm not sure that's what I'm going to do. I, I don't know, when I, when I get all these red candies, I'm like, I'm, I'm not sure what to do with them. Like, in my in my main uh, game, like, at the, like in one of the cartridge, cartridges I have of Pokemon Emerald, I, um, like, I have a lot of progress on my team is, like, mid-60s, probably, 
and I have like 11 rare candies, and I'm like, hmm, I'm not sure what to do with these. I don't know if I should use them in one Pokemon, or, you know, if I, like, should use all of them in one Pokemon, or, like, divide them up, or whatever, but, anyways. Are plants being spoiled by a kid? Yeah, that's correct. Will you look at my, I already looked at your Pokemon. The, you, you mean the Pokemon you're just battling with? Uh, yeah, I already looked at them, dude, or girl, or whatever the heck you are. Uh, we're Team Aqua. Yes. I, I know that. Tell me something I don't know. All right. So. Take down this dude. Yep, my team is definitely coming along. It's nice when they get, it's nice when they're just constantly getting one hit KOs. I do like that feeling. And Carvana, stay in. Alright, so... Let's go with a takedown, since Ice Beam isn't very effective, and I'm actually running low on PP on that move. And another one hit KO, awesome. Alright, so, I could go down to that healing bed, and I think I will. Um, this battle actually isn't that- the battle coming up here isn't really that tough. But I just want to be as prepared as I can because I am just using a Swablu. So yeah, I will be right back. All right, guys, I am back. My Pokemon are all healed up and ready to go, and it's time to take on Shelly, who is insanely hot. But anyways, let's go ahead and talk to her. You're going to meddle in Team Aqua's affairs? You're either absolutely fearless, simply ignorant, or both. You're so cute, you're disgusting. Yeah, well, you're sexy. So ha! I'll put you down, kitty. So here we go. This is. Team Aqua's admin, Shelly, and like I said, she is so sexy. She is probably the sexiest female character in the entire game, or at least that's what I would say. Uh, yeah, she's un she's unbelievably hot, and as you can tell, the quality of her picture right there isn't it, it isn't that great, so I'm going to put up a better picture of her. Uh, the quality is way better, and um, you can just see how sexy she really is, um, but yeah, she's... She's so hot, it's actually crazy. But anyways, um, yeah, she sends out a Carvana. And, um, not too worried about that. Oh, wow, okay, never mind. Maybe, maybe I should be worried. Alright. Oh, Crunch, wow, okay. Yeah, she's a little bit tougher than the... What?! Twice in a row, are you serious? Uh, she's a little, yeah, she's a little bit tougher than the other Team Aqua Grunts, but she's really not that, uh, she's really not, she's not that difficult. I mean, look at that, another one hit KO. And, I could have swore that said Magnemite, but it said Mightyena, so yeah, because I know she doesn't have a Magnemite. <laughs> because why, why the heck would she? Um... Alright, so, let's go with an Ice Beam. Oh wow, she's using Swagger, okay. No problem. Okay, never mind, problem. Um, let's see. Let's go with the Super Potion. There we go. Go with another ice beam. Are you kidding? Dude. Okay, you know what? Screw this. I'm switching out to Betty. And, uh, yes. Don't forget, guys, we actually have a rival battle right after this. So, just keep that in mind if you're playing along. Uh, what a KO! Awesome. Yeah, I was just getting impatient, but, yeah. Uh, anyways. Oh, Emily did not level up. Um, yeah, we defeated the sexy admin. You're disgustingly strong. Yeah, well, you're so freaking sexy, I don't really care. Um, yeah, anyways. Uh, so yeah, we defeated her. 
Hey, don't push me out of the way! Mount Pyre, hmm. They have to go to my Pyre. And this guy... Um... Gives us a cast form! Um, we can give you a nickname to cast form. This is the Pokemon I was telling you about. I'll call you... Um... Uh... Uh... I don't really know. I'm not using this thing. I, I don't know. I think I've used cast form maybe one time. Um... Uh, ever in this game. We'll call you Lucy, because I don't know. Um, so yeah, cast form gets sent to the PC. Uh, so anyways, yeah, we've, we've uh, taken in all the Team Aqua members in the Weather Institute. Uh, including Sexy Shelly. So that's awesome. Um, so yeah, we can continue on here. Um, yeah, we have a lot of time left. This video is only this video is only 11 minutes long, so we have a little bit of time. We have a, a little, quite a bit of time left, actually. Um, and actually, I'm going to go to that bed. Uh, let's just speed this up. Um, but yeah, guys... Uh, Shelly is super hot, like, I don't, and you never hear anybody talk about how hot she is. People go on about Flannery, or, I don't know, uh, Misty, or Dawn, and a lot of people don't realize that Dawn and May and them, they're like 10 years old, um, but, yeah, Shelly is super hot, and there's a lot of hot, hot female characters in this game, actually. One of them we're not actually gonna be able to see, because she's a frontier brain, but, uh, yeah, we've got a final elixir here, so that's cool. But yeah, um, the character I was just talking about is Lucy. She's also really hot, too. But again, we're she's a frontier brain, so we probably won't battle her. Uh, but anyways, yeah. Speaking of May, because we were just talking about May. Um, yeah, we, here she is. Where were you? Oh, I was just battling Team Aqua. Um, how much stronger have you gotten? Let me check. Uh, okay, whatever. Uh, anyways, yeah, so we're having another battle with May. Is this battle number four? Pretty sure it's battle four. It's... I think it's been a while since we battled her, actually. Um, yeah, we haven't battled her since, um... That, that video that there was a ton of static. I think that's the last time we battled her. Or, or somewhere around that... I, like, it, around the Trick House. That's... Yeah, it was it's somewhere around there. Like, the, like that battle under Cycling Road. You know, like, above Slayport. Any, I don't know what route that is. Anyways, that's the last time we battled her, yeah. Anyways, Slugma goes down. And Emily levels up, which is awesome. That means she's going to be evolving into an Altaria. And she has a Lombre. Um, we will stay in. Yeah, I'm very happy with my team right now. And uh, my team isn't actually finished yet either. Um, I have one more Pokemon that I want to catch. Uh, but like I mentioned in a previous video, that's not going to be until we get to the Safari Zone. So, yeah. Um... But yes, doing that off-screen training has definitely, has definitely helped. Oh, look at that, a critical hit. I couldn't get that the first time. No, I had to get that the second time, of course. And Grovile's next. I can stay in, but I'm going to go to my laptop here. Um, so here we go. And let's go with a flamethrower. Oh, Leaf Blade. Leaf Blade's, a, Leaf Blade's a pretty good move, yeah. I've, I have actually haven't chosen Trico that often in, uh, in, my, in any of my playthroughs of this game. Maybe maybe three times, three or four times. Um, but I know like, having Leaf Blade on like Grovile or Subtile or whatever is a really good idea. And guys, here we go. Emily is evolving. This is awesome. BAM! Altaria! Awesome. Uh, Emily is trying to learn Dragon Breath. Yeah, Altaria is a dragon and flying type, uh, as opposed to being a normal and flying type like Swablu was. Uh, yeah, we're gonna learn Dragon Breath. It's not a great move. Oh, I had 60 power. I thought I had 40 for some reason. Um, yeah, it's actually... It's, it's, a, it's an okay move. Um, so let me see here. Let me see. Um... We will get rid of Takedown, which I know you might think is that's stupid, but she's a physical attacker, and there's actually something else I want to teach her to get... I know you're probably thinking, why did I get rid of Peck? 
Uh, actually, I will get rid of Peck just in case I'm uh, mistaken about what. I, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, May gives you fly right here, and I'm gonna teach fly to her. I'm like 99% sure she gives it to you right here. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just wanted to be sure. I didn't want to like. I, I just to be sure. I didn't want to get rid of takedown and her not give me fly and then still have Peck. So yeah. But I. I, I mean, yeah. I knew she gave it. I knew she gave fly to you, but I just wanted to play it safe. Uh, yes. Um, my mom's worried about me, probably. Uh, oh, great, not this guy again. Hey, look, it's my Sparrow from my Poké MMO series. Um. Uh, anyways. Um. Okay, so, we have Fly now. Uh, you can't use this yet until you beat the next gym, but... I mean, you can use it, you can teach it to your flying Pokemon, but you can't actually use Fly outside of battle. Uh, we will get rid of Takedown for this. I know it's a worse move than Takedown, it's, they're both physical moves, but Emily needs a flying type attack, so yeah, and I want to keep Sing. Um, and I have Ice Beam as well. I kind of regret choosing that. I, I kind of regret, excuse me, I kind of regret teaching her Ice Beam, but whatever. Whatever. Um, so... Now, we're gonna move Mudstorm to the front, and, um, yeah, uh, we're gonna get to Fortree, and I'm gonna end off the video. I think we have, yeah, we have a double battle, actually, so let's go ahead and move Betty to the second slot. Alright, so, let's see what these guys have. Uh, Manetric and a Ninjask. Um, well, if I had my laptop instead of Betty, this would be beautiful, but unfortunately it's not that beautiful. Uh, let's go with a Headbutt on Ninjask. Ninjask is using Swords Dance. Wow, my Mudstorm is 10 levels higher than the Manetric and the Ninjask. That's kind of funny. Bam! One hit KO. Um, yeah, guys, my storm has yet to be knocked out this entire playthrough, which is actually crazy. I don't know if I've ever uh, had it. Uh, oh, something unseeable is in the way. Okay, we can't actually do that right now. Uh, I don't know if I've ever actually had that happen before. A lot of it is because I've been training. I've trained the Pokemon that were that I caught when I caught like when I caught some of the Pokemon. They were really under level, and I trained them up to, to be even with my team, and that's why my um, that's why my, my Pokemon are, are, they seem so high leveled. Uh, so that might have something to do with it. But yeah, Mustard has not been knocked out yet, which is actually crazy. Um, that's kind of like, um, I'm currently playing Banjo-Kazooie, Banjo -Kazooie, and I just completed Rusty Bucket Bay, and I haven't died yet in that game, so it's kind of the same thing as Mudstorm right now. Uh, I'm about to start Click Clock Wood in that game, and I haven't died once, so yeah. It's kind of awesome when you have a streak like that going on. Um, it'd be great if I could just do the, just do this entire Let's Play and just not have Mudstorm die. That would be awesome. But anyways, Mudstorm gets to level 37. That's awesome. I bow to your superior. Yeah, well, thank you, Red. I know. I know I'm better than you. I mean, who, who, who doesn't know that? Alright. Uh, Palm Egg Berries. I'm gonna speed this up because nobody wants to see me picking berries. And guys, we're almost at 4-tree, which means that we can finally... Um, I don't know why I wasn't using my bike before. Uh, yeah, we are now in Fortree. We're gonna go ahead and heal here. Um, but, basically, um, I'm actually, yeah, I'm actually not gonna end the video up here. Um, because there's something small we have to do, so I might as well do that in this video. I think there's one more trainer we have to battle. Uh, but yes, we can finally buy Hyper Potions. Holy crap. It's about time. Uh, so we'll buy that many. I don't know. I think did I buy five? Um, so yeah, anyways, there's one more trainer we have to battle and um, there's just something I want to get quickly before I end off the video. No, don't go in there. Uh, but yes, the gym is right here, as you can see, and we can't because the same invisible thing that was that was in our way before is there so we can't actually get can't actually go in there so we have to do something about that 
And we have to go down this way. There's one trainer that we can battle. Personal Lady uh, Clarissa. Okay. Oh, wow. I didn't actually switch. Crap. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and use Mud Shot. Sure. There we go. Rosalia goes down. And one more. She has a Wilmer, which is nice. So we can go in with Betty. And Mega Drain. I didn't actually look at what move I was choosing, so that's kind of lucky that it was Mega Drain. And I actually was wrong. This is not the only trainer. We, we battled those um, TV reporters again. So. Um, okay, we defeated Paris Lady Cl Clarissa. And uh, let me just switch up my team really quick here. Um, Betty and my laptop because they have uh, Loudred and Magnemite, if I remember correctly. So yeah, they are right over here. So let's talk to them. Um, yeah, this is a third battle with these guys, which is kind of crazy. Um, yeah, like I was mentioning before, you can battle these guys whenever you, well, not whenever you want, but you can keep battling them. I think after, I think after here, you can go back to one of the previous, one of the previous places that you battled them, and you can just keep battling them, battling them over and over again. Because um, then, then they moved, to, then they moved to the next spot, and then they moved back to this spot, and they just keep going back and forth between uh, places. Uh, so yeah, you you can keep battling them. Um, it never actually ends. And I remember when I was younger, actually, I actually grinded off these off these trainers, um, just you know, just because they were easy and they were easy to. And of course, you paralyzed me. Of course, man. What is that? And Magneton goes down. Beautiful. Um. No, okay, and then they're gonna ask me again if I want to say something, which I'm kind of annoyed at. Uh... Oh wow, she's calling me hot. Okay, that's kind of, it's kind of weird. Um, oh, there's another trainer. I'm gonna battle that guy later, actually. Uh, I will not battle him right now because I want to talk to this guy. This is Steven. Um, so yeah, he's going to. Yeah, we, as you can tell, we've seen a lot of things that are in the way. Um, so we're going to, uh, yeah, he's going to use the Devon Scope, and it's a Wild Kecleon! Which I, you actually could use, because you find it at a decent level. Um, it's level 30. Uh, so yeah. And luckily I'm using my Fighting Type, so we'll go ahead and, go ahead and use Mock Punch. So there we go. Uh, that's easy, and then he gives us the Devon Scope. Uh, now anything that's, that's invisible in our way, we can uh, we can get rid of uh, with the Devonscope, so that's nice. Um, and then he flies away, and uh, I'm not gonna. And now I'm going to go back, and there's actually a uh, oh, there's something. There's wow, there's a Kecleon over there. I'm not really sure why. Um, I didn't. I don't, hmm. Did, did I know that? I don't know. I may, I, maybe I did know that, but it's not really useful. Um, really, I only get rid of the Kecleons that. Are actually blocking something that I really want or that I need to progress through the game. Um, there is a rare candy right here, um, so yeah, I'm trying to get all the rare, as many rare candies as I can. Um, so now, one more thing I want to do before I end up this video. I want to go all the way back, and I'm actually going to just speed up that because that takes forever. Uh, let's bike over here, and because there's a Kecleon on the way here, and sometimes they'll battle you, sometimes they won't. If it starts, yeah, it does attack me. Okay, then I'm going to just uh, speed this up and um, kill it. There we go. Bam. And there should be a. Oh, there's no item. Wow. Okay, I thought there was an item there. That's kind of sad, actually. Okay, so we can get off our bicycle. And uh, the gym's right here. And now we can finally get uh, get in here. And um, this, yeah. Sometimes the Kecleon will attack you. Sometimes they'll run away. And that one runs away, thankfully. So you don't actually have to battle it. 
Um, but yeah, we're here in front of the gym, so thanks you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Next time, we're going to take on the sixth gym in the game. So thanks you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. I will have a link to my Facebook page in the description below, and I will see you all next time. Peace!